Ed. Who's going? You're really. What? You didn't know the lines? I'm not looking at I'm not looking to any of you, I'm just saying I thought that was really good. Have you been practicing that? We have four minutes. Year 11. You're in the Senate, and this is him giving evidence in the courtroom. Um, there's a bit in the fellow where he gives evidence as to why he, why he ran away with Desdemona. And um, it's interesting because he's the only black person in Venice. And yet, and they really need him, but they've got an innate feeling and fear of him because he's visibly other. In Venice, they're all, um, he, he talks about them as they, they have the soft uh, voice of chamberers. Chamberers is people who, who are used to doing political intrigue, people who are used to flattering and using words to get their, get their way. And the fellow sees himself as a general and uh, somebody who doesn't need to uh, use posh words. But he's very bloodthirsty and audiences like him. But one of the other things about the Scottish play is that it's done, a lot of it is happens in the dark. And so, so backstage, all you can hear is this bloody hell, ow, 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 people <laughs> bumping into things, girders. And it's, it's, I think they have the highest instances of accidents backstage when they're doing the Scottish play. People bump into things, fall off things, skewer themselves with things. It's a really dangerous play to perform because you're doing a lot of it in the dark. People get hurt doing that play. And um, that's why it's dangerous. And also, yeah, if, if, uh, if they'd had a terrible loss the week before, a repertory theatre would often put on the Scottish play to make money back. Kind of, um, you guys are real lucky because they're making the arts available to you via this and other things. You've got a drama department, and um, we had drama, but it was running around the hall <laughs> while the teacher had a fag outside. <laughs> you guys run around the hall, and I'll have a fag outside as well. Like that. Literally, that was our drama. So to have structured drama where you get to do a play and you get to pretend to be somebody else, never underestimate. The, the advantage of pretending to be somebody else. It's great. Um, because you learn about getting out of yourself and you learn about other people's feelings and it's a, it's a pretty cool thing. I never had that at school. So I think the arts, whether it's painting or drawing or acting or dancing, dance is a good thing, um, is a brilliant thing. It expands your mind and creativity is great. You know, They say if you can walk a mile in somebody else's shoes, it gives you um, another perspective, another point of view, another way of looking at things. And often when you're at school, you can feel a bit like that, you know? When it's just like everything's happening to you and nobody understands. But when you act in a play or you're given a character to perform or you're given somebody else's feelings to perform, you can see from someone else's point of view and perhaps understand an alternative perspective than your own. Yeah. Just with positivity. That's the advice I give. Thank you, that's it. Thank you. Thank you very much. together and to put on a live show and then afterwards we got so excited we all went to my house and I said there should be something on the telly where we do something on the telly that was my one contribution and suddenly all this stuff started to happen and the BBC said they wanted to do it and I had to write loads of letters with Richard to everybody and suddenly it became a thing and the first one raised 15 million pounds and they said we should do this every year and then so we did it the next year and then we were really tired and so we moved to every other year and we raised over a billion pounds um, last year with all your help. So, I mean, you know, that's what you do when you get organised. It's a good thing. Any more questions, please? Young person up there. Hang on a minute. Is this a premiering question? <laughs> Hello? 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 Oh, you know when you do the premiering advert? Yeah. Did you get any free bits? <laughs> That's the question you want to ask me. Is there a real question? Oh, no, I didn't get a free bed. I'll pay for my daughter's education though, so that's good. <laughs> what kind of cheekiness is this? Ask, anybody want to ask a proper question?